Good evening guys, welcome back to runout.tv, it's Mal here, I'm going to switch my phone onto silent in case I get any women trying to do things to me, very unlikely but in the event that it is that miracle day I won't be able to answer it. Um, as you saw in the last video, if you go back you'll find the video where I beat Iron Mike 11-6, sorry to spoil the score, but there you go. Today we have a, a formidable challenge, Louis. I'll be honest, Louis generally rips me a new one, I'm not going to lie. But we'll see how we get on. I'm also getting an Alienware computer very soon. I've made a quite a significant investment in my own personal enjoyment. Best best way to spend your money, I find. Uh, but I want to ask you guys, in all honesty, uh, I do other gaming videos. I quite like FIFA. I quite like um, golf games. I, really, that break couldn't have gone any worse for me against Louis. That's going to be a run out. Um, but I'm just interested to know, and please comment, tell me if you like this or, or don't, or if you prefer me just to carry on with just pool on this channel, or whether you would entertain hearing me do some other types of gaming videos. For example, the golf club, which I've never played on yet, even though I've bought the game, because uh, my computer doesn't want to know about it. So, we are... Under the cosh against Louis. Although with shots like that, who knows, we might be able to take him down. We'll give it our best shot anyway. Uh, but there you go, guys. Would you be willing to enjoy other gaming videos on here? Or would you prefer that I leave it with the VP4 only? And that's entirely your choice. I am in your hands on that one. Uh, that's a mistake and a bad one. Gonna have to jump it, but that's the problem is we're gonna lose the white and we couldn't do anything about that guys. So we now need to pull out a pretty good shot here. We're just gonna have a look to see where's the angle if I was shooting this in the corner, it would be like there, wouldn't it? So we're gonna have to come across this one. The problem is the green's gonna be going right to the um oh, I've missed it. Well, it was a tough shot and it was a tough out, but I can't be fun to do that very long. This match will not last long if I keep doing this against Louis, who is a very good player. Mine today could be the day that I get lots of chances. Today could also be one of the very many days that I've had where he has literally torn me apart. Um, doesn't miss very much at all. That's tempting fate there. Tried to reverse, um, what's the word? Double reverse bluff the. Now, where's that white ball? Probably going behind the seven. So, dodgy start from Louis. So, do we do we dare go for this or do we go for the run out? I don't know. I think we have to go for the, for the combo, really. So. F FML. FML! I don't know what that stands for. Something my life. Right, he's going to pop the combo because Louis doesn't miss combos, guys. That's two fracks that I should have won. That's not good. Right, okay, let's start to play here. Nice shot. See, I'm getting chance after chance here. Oh, that was... I didn't even think that was on. Well, we are getting an incredible amount of chances here. That's what you do get, though, with Louis. Hardly anything. Get past it. Just want an easy run. Yeah, this rack's over. thing you get against Louise, he doesn't he makes a lot of positional mistakes. And just doesn't miss. <laughs> he just never misses. Okay, so again, nothing. 
think I'm going to have to push and I might just pot the nine. He's going to give us that back, but. Oh, give over, will you? Never lost 11 nil to him, though. I did once beat Louis from being 8 nil down. That was one of my best ever wins. And I beat him 11 9. Uh, he just absolutely just, he just collapsed. And I've never seen anything like it before, really, since. I don't think I missed a ball, but I got all the running in terms of first chances and just never missed. And it was. But it was a weird game. Uh, might need to repeat that here, but we'll see. He doesn't miss these. That's a problem. When you let him in... See, I'm just not getting any chances. Come on. Got to just try and keep your head when this happens and try and play the right shots. But it's just weird how this happens in my games where sometimes I just kind of buy a good safety. It just doesn't happen. So, where's the shot at? I think I'm just going to go careering into it, to be honest. I'll take that. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I meant to get them out, so I kind of take half a, half a stroke of luck here. Well, the very unfortunate thing there is, is I would have had a covered break. Um... Harsh, harsh rules. That could be the difference between me losing and, and winning. He's not going to miss. This happens all the time. Okay, he has missed. <laughs> I don't know. I want that to come back across. That's a good shot. Got to have belief. I'm going to try here and hit the nine. Worst case scenario is I open the nine up. Not so worst case scenario as I do that, so. It's all about speed control here. I'm happy with that. Got to be very solid when I get into the balls, so we're going to hopefully reduce it to 4-2. So I'm going to take a bit more time on the break, really try and give myself the best chance at a good split. Want something to drop? Really do. Just look at that three and nine. There really is no missing that. The first person to get in. Well, I don't think that I can. Well, there you go. I mean, what do you do here? I'm going to push it because I think it's too difficult. But I do think that he'll probably pot it. There you go. But I've got a little bit fortunate. He pots it though. Well, he did. Look at that though. He hit on the way through. He hit the three, and that is unbelievable. But I've given myself a chance to get back into the match. And the black's in a really awkward position. Just blocking that nice, easy, what I would call automatic position for the for the five and it's whether I run through or whether I screw back I think I'm just going to run through just a little bit there you go that's alright that was a potential banana skin and here it's important just to come off two cushions and leave yourself a straight black or a dish so you can just roll through and that's worked out nice nice clearance and it looks like it's going to be 4-3 so we're uh, you know quite quickly back into the match Louis making you know made a few mistakes at the beginning we're not getting anything off the break which is a problem I'm going to try a bit of a different break here. and there goes the nine look at that shot straight in there nine just shot in that was amazing 
sometimes that does happen. We'll try the same break again, roughly. Didn't really see how high I got the but it's about seven degrees. Didn't get nearly as good a split there, but we did get a ball down. And the balls are really nicely split. We could even take the lead here. Ball goes well. First two, probably two, three balls are okay. Could almost sort of guarantee them. Um, just got to screw back here. Just got to watch the in off. Don't underdo it though. I've given myself a, a tough task here. I think I'm just going to come back over and try and. Well, that's gone a bit wrong, but I think I'll be okay just to run it at the seven. Potential problem here. Um, bit of a think. I'm going to try and play it at such a speed where I'm going to give myself the best chance at landing on it. Land on it, I am. Try and get close to the eight. Hit that hard, harder than I wanted, actually. Nice position on the nine. So we're playing well. We've got ourselves back in the match and taking the lead, hopefully. And then there she goes. So five four. And what's important is, is you don't give any of the best players any momentum to get back into the game. Getting the balls off the break, which is a great sign. Again, the five's gone awkward. Just need to take time on every shot to get it right. That's not cut over cut, but I think I'm going to be safe. Well, that's a bit lucky because I did make a mistake. And um, we're back in with a chance now, so. Probably I need to hoof this because I need to get back up the table for this too. Now that's exactly what I played. The problem is I've covered the four now. So I'm not sure that I can even I'm not sure that this is even possible. Oops. I think I might have got lucky again, you know. Look at that. That's so lucky. I feel like if I could hold, press a button to hold my hand up to the computer to say sorry, I should. Although he might stuck at me here. Yeah, he has. Good shot. But the momentum's still with me. I'm at the table. And I got another huge, huge stroke of luck. So, when you've got the knife in, you've got to twist it. It needs to stop. Well, I'm very happy with that shot. Can I get this in the middle bag? I think I probably can. This is where the rack could slip away from us a bit. So I'm doing well at the minute. I'm potting the big balls, which is good. Need that to keep going. So this is another one of those gutsy racks, I think, where people use a little bit of spin here to... No, where's the white? So, um, yes, good shot. So, 6-4, six, sixth rack in a row. We're getting some joy here with a, a raised Q-tip and then a raised butt to about 7 degrees. I'm getting a bit of joy, so we'll keep going. Oh, we nearly got an in off there, which wouldn't have been great. And the first time in quite a while that we've left Louis with a chuck with a chance. And he's missed it. And not only has he missed it, he's left chance. Well, Louis makes an incredible mistake. So we seem to have rattled the computer, and it is possible to do that. You think, what's he on about? You can't rattle the computer. If you play well, you'll find that you get chances in the career mode. Now, you don't get many, and the computer does improve as the end of the game comes near. So you never get a free game, I think it's fair to say. 
but you do sometimes get games where you're very heavy favourite due to the fact the computer gives you a lot of chances. Now, we just need to be a little bit careful here. I don't want to go in off. That'll do. It's not great. I could really, I could nick off this eight and go go into pocket. So I'm just going to use that to my advantage. That was a good shot. So I'm doing well. Looking like I might win me seventh in a row. Overhit that a bit, I'll be on, I won't lie. So I've just got to look at this one carefully. What I don't want is any terrible errors. Because um, that would be awful. Something needs to drop. I have a feeling I might get something. Where's that three? Oof. Yikes. So, could I, is it worth me going for this combo, I think? Maybe it probably is. Got it. Get in. Shot mile. That's what you're saying, isn't it? Yes. So, 8-4. I mean, who'd have thought it? A 4-0 down. We're getting absolutely walloped. And uh, it'll start going a bit better. Need to see those balls dropping. Need to see them dropping. Well, look at the state at the bottom of the table. Look at that 6-ball. Unbelievable. If it clears up from here, good luck, them. Well, this, this this could be the shot he goes into him. So he played safe. Um, I'm going to equally play safe. Keep the white down this end of the table. Big rack this. Now, do I go behind the eight? I think I probably try and just nestle. <sighs> Nearly got it. <laughs> if I'd have just stuck behind it, that would have been lovely. But a good white though. So, is the brown? Probably is a plant. I'm gonna go for this. Need that right on the back cushion. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. gone wrong it's gone wrong can I get behind the eight that's the question actually now if he pots it that's just too good if he gets behind the eight that is also too good well, I'm going for this. Let's work it out. I know which line I want just after this spot at the top of the table. So halfway across the table would be just on the... No, it wouldn't be. I think there. Oh. Oh. I like it. He's going to have to pull out a gem. And he hasn't. He's missed it completely. I think there was an element of luck there. I'm going to be very, very honourable and say I probably got lucky there. So, could be winning our ninth rack in a row. I wonder what odds I'd have given myself to win 11 in a row at 4 0 down. That would have been quite high. And, to be fair, I haven't done it yet. So let's try again. We need a ball. Nice split. Nice split. And yet again, we've got. I mean, I think what it's fair to say in this match, we've definitely had it where the balls haven't landed really, really well. It's not been a a run out type of, of situation. There has been issues. Um, it's been more of a. There's been safety players, and Louis, to be fair, has generally been found wanting when it's come to safety. Although that was a good one. Um, that wasn't my best, certainly. 
uh, but it's gone somewhere in the middle. Oh, hit the knuckle. So we do have a chance. When I say a chance, I'd probably expect to get it. Right, I'm going to try and slide behind the six ball here. Need that to turn just a bit. That's perfect. I just want to roll this in and land square behind the seven if I can. Well, I can't, so I'm going to have to play this down the table. But, but I get the security of the seven ball just being able to be close to the pocket. And I've got that, so... This for ten four. So I'm ten four ahead. I still don't feel like I've got this, guys. You know, it might sound absolutely crazy, but I know how good Louis is. So this will be a great victory if I can close it out here. Well, I'm not going to get a better chance. To be honest, if I can screw back so here is a chance where do I have to go so I want to be on that line there Hit, nicking across it so I want to be I would say there let's go yes I got it yes what a win 11 racks in a row that is outstanding I've never done that before against him there we go, look, go and break, break and run, break and run. That's amazing. 4-0 down, and you know, guys, you watch the video back, I was I was in deep trouble there. So we're now playing Sean Chipperfield in the next round. I've definitely managed to do really well. If I can beat, I've beaten all of Andy Giza, Chippy and Spectacular before, so I could well go at the final. Let's see who else is is in. If I'm playing like that, I'll be all right. A, a tough ask, so you know, it's going to be the quarter final. Semi final in that bracket, so it would be tall Steve Shock and Hannibal. I've beaten all them before, I've played them all. Um, the Yeti beat Chippy, Chippy beat the Yeti 10 and 11. Um, tall Steve still going. Mr. 400, who's John Schmidt, who was really good. Curly is who just wins everything in this uh, career mode at the minute. And uh, the Geordie Destroyer, which is my mate Chris Cowie. Right. Um, there you go. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. I can't quite believe that I managed to do that. Let's have a look at the stats. Um, see that we're still 7.99. Brilliant. Well chuffed. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, Louis is a great player. I'm really chuffed for that win. So thanks for watching again. Cheers. See you soon.